How's it everyone? Welcome back to our channel. A huge congrats to Waldy Urban who correctly guessed the location of our next adventure. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Drakensberg! So as you can see, we're in the mountains. Uh, not quite. <laughs> we want to give you guys a quick overview of the food we bought in preparation for this trip. This is the first time that we'll be staying overnight in the Berg and we're a little bit nervous but mostly super excited and it's also the first time that we'll be filming on a trip like this. We hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned to the end of this video for the budget for this trip. But let's not keep you from the mountains any longer. Let's go. So we've been walking in the mountains already for a few hours now and we just wanted to take a moment to introduce the gang. Obviously you guys know us, Marik and I. Here we have Drew, my cousin. He has a really awesome Instagram page, we'll link it down below, but he's going to give you guys a bit more information about that now. How's it guys? My name's Drew and uh, I'm one of the co-creators behind the Instagram page Wildest Dreams Day Day. We're busy working on a website that will be going up with it as well and we're going to be using it to showcase some of our adventures that we have planned in the coming months and years a lot of them never been done before first one up will hopefully be done in the next two months and that'll be me heading out on a solo grand traverse which is a 350 odd kilometer trip across the whole of the drakensberg i'll be doing it without resupply or any support so i'll be out for between 16 and 21 days and some of the other ones are night traverses we're doing a couple of river traverses that will bisect the whole of the, the, the country um, yeah, we've got about six or seven trips coming up and five of them will be, if we pull them off, will never be done. So be sure to go and check out our page, follow us, like us, share it and show us some support because when we're out there in the mountains, sweating, freezing, hungry, thirsty, it's good to know that there's people back at home in the nice comfy armchairs enjoying our adventures that we're doing for you. So be sure to share it out. So we've been hiking for a few hours already now and we spotted the perfect campsite. We just needed to navigate our way through some bushes first. To make things even better, we have our own personal little stream right by our campsite with water coming straight out of the rocks. And to top it all off, the cherry on top, check out that incredible view. All right, so we've arrived at our campsite. we come up with a little bit of a challenge for young Sarah. I've got my backpack here, which weighs about 25, 28 kilos. And uh, if she can get it up and onto her back without any help, we're gonna make her a cup of tea. And if she can't, then she's gonna make us some tea. Doing this for the tea. Okay. So that's end of day one. We walked for 5k's today, but those 5k's were straight uphill. <laughs> so our legs are burning quite a bit. 
but the sun's going down now and with that the temperature's dropping rapidly so we're going to settle down for the night get warm have something to eat and see you guys back again in the morning Good morning guys, welcome to day two. Apologies about recordings from inside the tent, but we have a bit of a gale force wind going on outside. Um, last night was a bit hectic, it felt like our tent was going to blow away. And just to make masses more hairy, we had a pack of jackal on the other side of the valley talking to each other, busy planning how they were basically going to eat us. <laughs> But anyway, we're up for the day. We're gonna eat some breakfast now and then get uh, headed out on exploring. So if you look closely, you can see our campsite down there. And you can see the little orange of our tents. We're on our way up this hill to get a nice, beautiful view of the amazing mountains around us. So after a pretty lazy morning, just wandering around and exploring the areas around our campsite, exploring a little bit of these ledges up here behind us, um, we are now packing up camp and getting ready to find our next campsite for tonight. We'll probably find some rivers and have a lovely little swim and clean off along the way. So this is the stream that we were just telling you about. Let's go fill our bottles. So we just want to give you guys a better understanding of some of the landscape that we have to walk through. But to do that, let's jump straight into the POV view. Alright, let's go. Alright, big jump. One, two, three. So Drew just mentioned a few minutes ago that it's really typical to see white-necked ravens come in and fly over a campsite after you just left it or a picnic site. This is due to the little leftovers from hikers. The birds come in and try and pick up what they can. So I've had a rather interesting realisation spending time in the mountains. This is what most people think hiking is like. But in reality, this is what hiking is really like. But that's what hiking is, is putting your head down, putting one foot in front of the other, focusing on not tripping and falling, while both your lungs and your legs are screaming at the same time. But that's why we do it, and that's why we love it. And there's no better person to explain it than Drew. Yeah, the magnificent thing about the mountains is that you get to just walk where you want, do what you want, decide we want to go and camp on that side of the valley, find a path. There's no government, no signs, no path, no rules. You get to walk and choose your route, and at the end of the day, if you, make, if you make errors, it's on you. And uh, that's a very liberating feeling, knowing that you are in control of your own consequences. And if you make a mistake, you need to be man enough to hold them. Plus, I mean, 
why would you not want to walk here? Just look at it. It is unequivocally and unarguably the most beautiful place in the entire world. So we just spotted our campsite and it's across the way there. Now we are figuring out our way to get down this bank and um, across the river and just find our way up to our little spot. So we just found ourselves a superb spot for a nice little dip in the river here. We've got our own little waterfall going. We're gonna have a bite to eat and then we'll head off to our campsite. So we just had a dip in the river all the way down there and now we are trekking our way up to the campsite. There's Drew over there. Whew, still got to get all the way up there and some. Let's go. So the time is now only 25 past 3, but as you can see, because we're in the valley, the sun's already setting. So it's a bit of a mad rush now to find a spot to put your camp for the night. So this is how you prepare your campsite for your tent when um, it's not really a campsite. So after a long trek up that hectic hill, we finally found a nice spot to camp, even if we had to tread a little grass down for that. Um, we set up all our tents now nicely, and we're just going to chill now and just take in all the beautiful views. Good morning! It's our final morning here and we're going to pack up camp soon and head out and say goodbye to the mountains. So we had a bit of a fiasco with our supper last night. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to make smash and uh, we didn't really read the instructions properly. In the end we ended up making enough for 16 people. <laughs> which basically used all of our water so we were all very dehydrated during the night. But anyway, it's time to head back down to the river, get some more water in us have some tea and start a long walk back down to where we park. So in this area of the berg that we found ourselves in, Central Mweni, this is home to the largest Cape Vulture colony in the berg. And these birds are actually endangered, so it's really awesome to see them in their natural habitat. So I use parts that are already made and we can just bushwhack down the side of a mountain. Alright, well we just came up with a little challenge. You can see if we can do a pistol squat with our hiking packs on. So, no idea, but best of luck. Oh no! <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Jeez! My head's got pins and needles, I was pushing so hard. So just before we head out of the mountains for good, we've asked Drew to give you his top three tips for newbie hikers. Here they are. Tip number one, when you're packing your bag, put all your heavy stuff at the bottom, closest to your back. That way you've got more stability when you're hiking and it's easier to get your pack on and off. 
Tip number two, whenever you stop, even in the summer, make sure you put a rain jacket on or something to break the wind over your back, certainly, and over your legs. It stops your muscles cooling rapidly. Over a period of days, that can cause a lot of cramps and fatigue. So, yeah, keep yourself warm and dry. Tip number three, when it's super windy up on top of the mountains, remember that your sweat evaporates a lot quicker, so you want to be drinking a whole lot more. Windy days cause dehydration much quicker than you realize. So if you found those tips helpful and would be interested in seeing more in the future, comment a little mountain emoji below. We're looking for another excuse to head back out into the mountains and make another video. Hey guys, so we just made it back out of the mountains all safe and sound. We just want to give a very special thanks to Drew from Wildest Dreams for taking us on this most amazing adventure. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys back again next week Friday.